Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would do this video on the best um, face primer that I found for oily skin. Um, I don't know about dry skin but I have sort of combination skin if you like but it's mostly oily um, and I have tried a few sort of I've tried high end and sort of more low end primers um, I haven't don't own a load, a load of primers because I feel them in the shop and if they feel like a silicon based I don't buy them because I do tend to find that the silicon based ones if it feels greasy in my hands it's pretty obvious it's going to be greasy on my skin my skin um, is quite greasy anyway oily um, it gets oily here it gets oily here it gets oily here and here sometimes so it's like the t-zone area my skin doesn't tend to get oily on my cheeks as much or you know on my neck or you know it's really my forehead and here um, so yes, I will show you the primer. It's the one that I always use and you've probably seen me using it a thousand times but I just wanted to do this quick video in case anyone typed it in on YouTube primer for oily skin that this one would come up because I don't think actually a lot of people know about it because I have seen people going on about I can't find a primer for my oily skin and this is the best one I've found. Uh, and okay, it, I'm not saying it will take the oil away completely all day because it doesn't on me and if I found one like that then that would be amazing. I would be showing you all and I would be buying it, you know, all the time. But no, it still does go greasy towards the end of the day, my skin, and um, but it doesn't go as bad with this photo ready one by Revlon. Uh, I've got two to show you actually. Um, I like to the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel. That is a little bit cheaper. Um, and if you put it, if I put it onto the back of my hand, I will show you. It's not really silicon based. I'm not going to put that one on my skin now. I'm just going to show you. It's more like a cream. So, okay, it feels a little tiny bit oily, but not compared to a lot of the primers out there. So I really do like that. It's really nice. It's more like a moisturising cream, if you like. And it doesn't smell of anything either. Um, now, this one um, is actually by Revlon at Photo Ready. It's usually about £12, I think. And uh, it was down to £8 the other day. I was going to get some more, but I hardly have used any of this because uh, it lasts me ages. It's called uh, Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. It says directions apply to clean uh, skin, use alone or under makeup. So you can use it on its own or under makeup. Now, this is the best one to hide my pores because I've got quite big pores I don't know if you can see in this light you probably can because I can see in the camera that I've got quite big pores on my nose and on my forehead my skin's really crap actually okay I'm quite lucky in the fact that I don't get a load of spots or anything but my pores are really really bad um, so I do like this primer I also like the Urban Decay Primer. I've never bought one but I've had a sample, I've had a couple of samples actually given to me by Urban Decay and I really like that one as well because that hides pores and that is good for oily skin um, but it's quite expensive so I wanted a drugstore alternative one and this is the best one I've found. I've like tried them in the shop. I've Okay I've not tried every one of them on my face but I know if I feel it in my hand and it feels like really greasy and silicony then I won't bother buying it there's no point because I know instantly that it's not going to work um, I didn't know this would work on my pores and it doesn't work perfectly it's not going to take my pores away and make my skin like it's been photoshopped or something but it does work it's really nice and I will just show you and just see if you can see any difference you might not be able to see any difference but I just use a about a pump's worth not even that about 
three quarter of a pump's worth because I only do my T-zone, I don't do the whole of my face because there's no point because I don't really get oily here or on my eyes or anything like that so I just dab it on with my finger and then I put it on where I get oily and where I have big pores and okay it does feel a little bit greasy going on but the more you work it in the more it feels like a cream and it's really nice I don't know if you can see that, you might want to jump back in the video but I hope you can actually see that that has hidden my pores slightly the more I work it in okay it's not you know made them disappear completely but it's done a good job for a drugstore one considering it's only about £12 and some of them are really expensive like I can add a little bit more just to show you I'll just add a tiny bit more and put it on my nose and once you've got your foundation on over this then it just seems to work really well for me so you might want to give it a go if there's a tester in your shop just squirt it on your hand and see what I mean by it's not too too silicon based it's more like a cream so that's that done that is my primer done and I'm ready to put foundation on now I'm not going to put foundation on in this video it was just to basically show you that this is the best primer I think for my face and I don't know if you can see, I can see in the camera that it has hidden my pores a bit um, and covered them up quite well it's not covered them up brilliantly because my pores are like really quite big but I think it's really good for a primer so if you are looking for a primer for oily skin and one that covers pores and makes your skin that little bit more smooth and more photoshopped if you like then I would say this one the Revlon photo ready one and it lasts for a long time it is expensive ish for a drugstore maybe because um, some you get cheap like this one this one is good although it doesn't hide pores it's good for a matte you know a matte one but it does it won't hide my pores like this one so I do tend to use this and I would definitely definitely buy it again so I hope this helps guys if you've got oily skin um, and you can see that it's made a little bit of difference on my skin I hope you can anyway thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon if you've got any questions then please just ask down below please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my links below as well because I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and my blog and it would mean the world to me. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.